days beforehand, hundreds of patients lined up at the Allen District Hospital. Outside and inside, they waited for hours, sometimes days, hoping their name would be called. Immediately after arriving, the team started taking cases in what would become our home for the next two weeks. In the U.S., surgeons work in completely sterile environments, but here in the Philippines, the team has had to make do with what's available. They're regularly doing two different procedures in one room. There's bugs and lizards crawling on the walls and floors. And instead of cleaning the rooms after each and every procedure, they're only getting cleaned at the end of the day, and even then, it's pretty minimal. Because of limited supplies, hospital staff in Allen reused anything and everything they could. Even some gloves were pulled from the trash, washed off, and set out to dry. There is running water, but it's very rare to find toilet paper. Instead, locals use this to wash themselves. And instead of having a flushing toilet, they use these buckets to wash the waste down into the pipes. It's also rare to find soap, and in a hospital setting, that makes sanitation very difficult. It's also difficult when the power goes out. So no self-containers. Every day, the operating rooms went dark for about a minute. The team would scramble to find flashlights so the surgeons could continue their work. The team also brought its own instruments because the local ones are so outdated. They've not been maintained and cared for as well through the years, mostly because of lack of finances, I think. Dr. Charlie Yeagle works as a general surgeon in Trinidad and Walsenburg. Uh, something big in terms of forceps with teeth, preferably, like a Russian. Medically, he says Americans and Filipinos have the same diseases. It's just that Filipinos allow them to develop for a long time. To the point where the pathology is quite large, uh, quite ingrown with big blood vessels and so the operation is much more difficult. Many of these conditions would be corrected at birth, but the patients have learned to live with discomfort and pain because they cannot afford surgery. Their initial need would probably be just for food. Dr. Hildegarde Stineros traveled from his hospital in Manila to host and participate in the mission. And the SWD is going to buy the 200. He says even if these patients could pay, facilities and resources in Allen are limited. It's the expertise uh, the local uh, community, the local doctors here may not be uh, enough for the needs of these uh, surgical patients. Here in the Philippines, patients are expected to provide their own blood ahead of time or pay for it in advance of surgery. There's a woman here today with a very large ovarian cyst with a very low blood count, so two of us are donating A positive blood to help her out. Her name is Maricel Longsad. She lost a lot of blood during surgery, blood she could not afford to lose. Afterwards, she was placed in a recovery room with as many as 10 other patients. She was then given a week's worth of Tylenol for the pain. Yes, Tylenol. That might sound like torture here in America, where painkillers are readily available and readily used. But in the Philippines, a little Tylenol goes a long way. Maybe it's just a little bit of understanding, like uh, not really so demanding, because uh, whatever is available there, they just want to take it. Maricel spoke very little English, but even when she was overwhelmed with pain, she repeatedly said thank you. Whatever we provide to them would just be, you know, satisfying to them. The, the level of contentment is there. Before we knew it, the mission was wrapping up. The surgeons finished their final procedures and the nurses started packing. Is it clear, ladies and gentlemen? After repeated explanations, still more patients lined up outside the OR. It was a bittersweet goodbye. After two weeks, the team completed hundreds of major and minor procedures, but it was difficult knowing we only made a small dent in a huge pool of patients. There's no end of, of human suffering and, and pathology in the world, but for those that, that we can help, we are making a big difference, and we have to take comfort uh, knowing that. We might not have changed the world, but in the town of Allen on the island of Samar, we did make a world of difference. Mike Kinnean, Fox 21 News.